All right, hey, what's going on, boys? It is Luke, and it is Luke. See, Sam on two YT here. So, um, sorry if you can hear the background noise. Basically, my graphics card overheats, and that's why I gotta have a fan on it. It's really noisy because the fan broke, but I've managed to try and fix it in a way. So, I'm trying to say sorry for that. But I've been noticing some people have wanted to play stretched screen in Fortnite. But for AMD graphics card users such as me, um, it's been a lot harder compared to Nevada. Like Nevada is easier to do, but on AMD, all you gotta do is click that, open it up, and then, for instance, I'm pretty sure I'm using one of these. But you just click, like it should say custom resolutions, create, change the display. Obviously, mine's display one. And then you go here, you change your resolution. So for instance, mine's 1600 by 1080, so you change it to your desired resolution. Do the same by here. And yeah. Then you just click save. But obviously, I don't need to do that because I've already got some. Then some people are wondering, well, why have I got a black bar? Well, I've learned how to actually fix it because I had the same trouble. Like now, look, see, I've got the black bar. I put it back on just to demonstrate to you guys. But pretty much what you want to do is just right click, press display settings. It may not be the same for all of you, it may just be like for some of us. Like, yeah, that's my custom resolution, 1600 by 1080. But I'm. Um, <coughs> you just click, scroll down, and click apply display set advanced, sorry. Then your display, for instance, mine is the HDTV. You can tell by the resolution size, and that one is my normal one. So you, mine says 59 hertz. I don't know why it should say 60, but so I went here. I was just locking. So I said, because I've been watching a lot of videos and they've been saying 60 hertz monitor or 144 hertz. So I said okay. So I clicked that and then I press apply, and then my screen goes all funny like it is for you now, guys. And then press keep changes and let me just change it in OBS and there we go so now you have it it's all normal it's all widescreen and on Fortnite you can easily tell it's stretch screen and look it says 1600 by 1080 and you can even have it that's how I got mine in full screen mode and usually on these settings I would not get I get about uh, 60 and I'm already getting a higher FPS boost right now, guys. So I hope this video is and like useful for you. I know a lot of people as well do go like, you know, and just ah oh, percent after that percent. I got local app data because the saves gone percent. Just you know, go back, click local, for a game saved, uh, config Windows client game use settings. Now, I know a lot of people have actually been um, doing this, changing the resolution. You don't have to. Like, but mine changed because of, like, you don't have to change it. You can just leave it. I have not changed it at all. It's changed for me. But you don't have to. So, I hope this video was useful for you guys. If you did enjoy, smash the like button down below. I'm sorry for the cancer background, like my fan. I'm literally trying to stop the noise the best I can, but it doesn't seem to want to work. So, as I said, guys, I'm really sorry, but I hope this video helped you. If it did, show some support, smash the like button, subscribe, keep updated for more tips and tricks, and yeah, boys, peace.